Hi everyone, it's Marianne again, and I want to share with you our journey that we're on right now, which is upgrade to healthy lifestyle to live the hard way. It's not an easy way, this. And the kids are joined us, have joined us now, and they have said, Mammy, I don't want to be on this diet, I don't like it. And I asked, why don't you like it? And so, who's for? She couldn't really answer. But you were thinking, and I thought, has it something to do with you can't eat that sweets that you normally do? And she says, yes, it is. Yes, of course, it's hard to do changes. We feel it also. But today, it's our 30, um, 30 th uh, third day of the detox or the change. And I can slowly feel in my mind that I'm starting to think otherwise now. I'm thinking about what to cook to, for lunch because here in Switzerland, up in the mountains, we cook, uh, the children come home, my husband comes home, so we kick, cook for them. And I'm starting to, to now feel, oh, think differently about it. What can I cook today? What do we have in the kitchen? What's in the refrigerator? So already now I can see I'm starting to have new um, context of what to cook. And it feels so good. It's already happening after 33 days. And it feels, it, there's a lot of cookbooks that I'm having at, here at home that I'm getting inspiration from. Newsletters, websites and everything. And it's slowly starting to embody now. And it feels so good. Because I really want this. I really so much want this. I'm not a food expert and I'm going to change becoming that. I'm an acupuncturist, Chinese medicine. And I call myself more and more now. I'm working with Chinese healing arts. Because I really think it's an art. Or well, that's what I want to change it into. And art is for me a, a lifestyle. Because I'm not just focused any longer on patients' superficial symptoms. No, the superficial symptoms are an expression of what's happening down in the root. And I go there. I go to the core. I look in the eyes of people when I talk to them. Sometimes you can rely more on the eyes, what they are showing and telling, than what's coming out of their mouth. Because of course we don't have anything on our conscious level. And sometimes we have want to have stuff that we put below. We dig it down what's been happening in our lives, because we all have stories. But this whole transformation in my clinic since I've come back, I've started working in November, I've had a whole year of baby break with my third child, with Malou. And I've done so many changes myself and this break that I had with her. And I'm going to share those because they're wonderful. That's part of why I take this big chance now and changing everything and putting the spoon in the other hand, like we say in Danish. And when the pain is big enough, you want to change. You don't want to stay in that pain any longer. I had that too. And I want to share it. That pain was just too much. So I said, Thomas, Thomas, I cannot live like this. I'm not that mother that I want to be. I'm not really in my heart. I need us to do a change. And we eat le at least three times a day and more. So let's start there. You can start with the food. It's not that easy to just do a change up in your mindset. So we're starting with the food, because I want healthy food to be part of our life, for my kids, for myself, for my husband. Food that supports our body, that nourishes our body, doesn't give out any more toxins. Toxin that the body has to work with this and then the mind is not that free. But do changes. And the awareness is the first step. Awareness, this, this pain is just too much. The mind is reacting to it. It hurts. And the pain is bigger than you are yourself. So you want to do a change. Seeing it, feeling it. Don't want to keep on living like that for the next many years. And that was possible. We're doing it. It's day 33 and it's lovely. The kids are not that far, so they will have time to the change. 
I think around 30 days they needed also. I'm giving them healthy sweets and cakes more than I wanted to, but it's gluten free, it's sugar free, it's dairy free. But they're getting a bit more than what should be the daily plan or weekly plan. Because I want them to see that there are more healthy food than what they thought. Or it's not just that unhealthy things that we were used to eating. It's a way now. And I think they will grow into it also. And they will. They have to. Because it's all about the second line. It's all about living in the heart. Being connected in the heart, to one's own heart, the power of the heart, the inner voice. That's where I'm heading for. That's where I want my family to be. To live the hard way. And it's a way of living. And I will share more with you. And I'll go quite personal and emotional, because that's who I am. So thank you and see you next time.